explaining to do. I have been MIA from this channel for a bit now and honestly um, it was because I was not in my happiest place and I didn't um, want to do any videos when I was not, let's say, in a good place, let's say that. Uh, and you might be confused right now and I need to explain. So <laughs> the, for the people who have been following Holistic Developer Channel for a while, you know that I recently changed my job. I'm still in tech, but the reality is that I'm a software engineering manager right now and that with that role comes a lot of responsibilities not that software engineers don't have enough responsibilities they do but software engineers are basically on a creator's schedule if you look at the calendar it's pretty much open uh, and i like that because you have time to create you have time to get in the zone versus a manager who has a manager schedule and when you look at that schedule you might have an, a meeting and then 15 minutes between meetings or meetings back to back or um, an hour or three minutes between meetings and it's really 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 hard to to do something to create something between those times uh, and that's one of the things that is challenging and another thing that I think after doing a lot of soul searching um, because I was feeling like an, an imposter because <laughs> I I'm a software engineer I have this channel about software engineering and now I'm a um, senior software engineering manager um, which doesn't imply so much software engineering actually me doing I'm I'm in the position where actually enabling other people in my team to be able to, to engineer. That means that um, not all I, what I do is something that I don't like. Don't get me wrong. In reality, there are plenty of things from what I get to do now, I really like. And <laughs> did you hear that? I said get, not have to. Um, I do do have the privilege of doing that. I like the aspect of doing system designs, architecturing new, new services, um, new applications and stuff like that. And I really like that. I really wish to have more of that uh, when I was back then, when I was a software engineer, when I was an individual contributor. But now I get a lot of that and on the other side on the other side of the spectrum i have no time writing code uh, literally um, if <laughs> i take a look at my github contribution chart or whatever it's called the chart you can see that up to december i was pretty active i was writing code i was committing i was creating and i felt really really good and after that until now it's it's empty no commits or anything like that and what i'm trying to say is that not that i don't deal with code anymore i do do reviews as i said i'm doing architecture stuff i'm doing designing uh things and prioritizing planning breaking down huge projects and stuff like that but it misses the aspect of actually writing code and that probably is the, the, the thing that I'm struggling the most. I miss it a lot. Actually, uh, uh, a few weeks ago, I was while I was architecting a new service that uh, my team is going to develop, I did have a chance, I actually made it <laughs> happen to do a proof of concept and for that proof of concept, I was using a new, a new tool, a new application or service that I haven't used before. So I wanted to see how it will work. So I did the POC and for like a few hours, I wrote code and actually it was not me writing the code from my head, but actually it was following the documentation on the web page. And I felt so, so happy. I felt so alive. And I remember that my 
day completely changed. I was so much happier. I, I had so much more fun with my family. So all of this is affecting my life as well. So um, that's one thing that I was struggling. And another thing that I, I'm, I'm dealing with is that I'm a perfectionist. <laughs> I'm trying everything that I do at work to be perfect. Um, and it doesn't mean that it's only me, but also what my, my team is doing. So I have really high standards. And sometimes that's really, really hard when you need to change really quickly. You need to do a lot of things and stuff like that. And I'm trying to make sure that everything is top notch <laughs> and it's exhausting, honestly. And it's really hard. And I don't think I want to be in a place where I am the person who has to be um, the person who decides, decides everything because it got so overwhelming that for the last few weeks, prior to the point where I was kind of exploding, um, not literally, but like exploding from like, I'm full with meetings. I had like two weeks that I had every day, every work day back to back with meetings because there was one project that I needed to do something. There's another project that was, so I was the point of contact and I could not skip. Like, even if I wanted to change my schedule to be like last meetings, I couldn't because I was the, point of contact for all of the projects that needed to be done for my team or by my team so obviously i sat down with my manager and started to talk about like here's my biggest challenge like i don't really have time to do anything i'm every single minute of the day i'm in meetings and uh it's not something that um I think I will enjoy long term. I understand when it's needed to be done here and there, but long term, that being the reality day by day, um, doesn't didn't sound that appealing. So, my manager did an amazing thing. <laughs> he actually shared something that uh, helped me. So, I'm adopting a new philosophy, um, and one of the things like why he mentioned that or why he shared that with me is that he wants me to as he says to to be there with long term and he doesn't want me to get burned out and i've been there and it's a bad place to be in to be burned out so definitely i'm trying to cross my fingers to do stuff so i will share the article in the description below the one that my manager shared with me but what was it um it's a new philosophy that somebody's like how to be quitting your job every day or something like that and it sounds weird but it's, it's it's not so i actually read that article multiple times i was reflecting and stuff like that so and i wrote down like what this suggests so it's in my new work philosophy it has kind of 10 things and i wrote it down here on paper so ignore my <laughs> funky uh handwriting but the very first thing that um it, it recommends is to document your knowledge so that's kind of what I'll, i'm planning to do all of these actions i'm planning to do to free up my time so i get to the place where i can write code again because i understand that i love what i do i like the aspects many aspects of my current job but the thing that makes me not the happiest or the thing that i'm missing like <laughs> i don't feel full um i i I feel that I'm missing something is the part where I write code. So I need to do some changes to be able to, to be in a spot where I can do my job and also have the luxury of writing code because that's for me a luxury right now. I cannot do after work to code something or something like that because after work I have family that I want to spend time with and I need to spend time with them and they want me around. So here's the strategy or the philosophy that I'm adopting um, moving forward trying to to change and, and toward the better side my work-life balance so um and it's not only work-life balance but it's also kind of um making sure that um i'm enjoying more what i'm doing and i have time for different things that i enjoy so first one document your knowledge second one document your long-term goals Third one, document your meetings. Four, bring others to meetings. So I started to do that and everything is amazing so far. Five, train people around you. So I'm planning to do more of that. I've been, I was 
doing that, but I will be doing more and more of that. Six, identify and train your replacement. And I already have been done that and my re my person <laughs> it has been taking more responsibilities, which is amazing. Um, seven, give power to the people. That's one of the things that I'm trying to work more. Um, eight, do not make yourself the point of contact, which I was <laughs> guilty as charged. I was the point of contact, so no more. Um, nine, delegate. So I've been delegating, but I'll be delegating more. And I love the last one, always be learning. So those are the things that I'm planning to do. Here's my new philosophy that I'm planning to do. <laughs> and hopefully um, this will change my work and my happiness and my <laughs> enjoyment long-term towards a, a more positive me. So yeah, that's the explanation of why I was missing and not posting because I felt in a weird place that I was not the happiest. I was not writing code uh, when the channel is about writing code and stuff like that. So hopefully those changes will will help me get back to writing code. And if not, um, I'm sure I'll figure it out. So here it is. Hopefully you found some enjoyable piece of information or um, conversation in this video. I hope you're doing well and hopefully you're not in a place where you're struggling or not enjoying what you're doing or um, getting burned out. And if in, ca in case that happens, because that's just life, hopefully you are taking time to reflect about it and plan and strategize what can you do to make it better, like incremental improve improvements. It's better than nothing. So yeah, thank you for watching. Make sure to like this video if you found it valuable and see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.